Hey, welcome to Hostify, my name's Alex, and today we're looking at the LTU Rocket, a different point-to-multi-point -point system from Ubiquiti Networks that sort of is a successor to the Air Max AC devices, and also um, has a whole new platform that isn't compatible with anything else that the company makes. So, we're just going to run through the initial setup in this video, and uh, there is some videos coming soon that shows you how to do some more advanced features on the device, but this, this was just a very quick video to run through the initial setup, what some of the settings do, and also how to, how to update the software. So, first thing you'll see is once you log into the 192.168.1.20 address, you'll be presented with a country and username. So, I'm going to pick UK and English and then agree to the terms. So, on the dashboard, this is a pretty old version. This is about three or four years old, this software. Um, so, version 2.3, I believe. Uh, it's actually 2.0.5. This is probably one of the very first versions. Um, so, this dashboard. Um, I think it has changed quite a bit since since this uh, device came out. So this is a pretty much an original device from the time that LTU was released. Um, so it's got the software from that period. So we're going to upgrade the software to start with. I've already downloaded version 2.3. Um, this was released on the 3rd of February this year. Um, if we just have a quick look at version 2.0.5, yeah, the first version came out in 2020, so about three and a bit years ago. So it's... um quite an old version now. So I've already got it downloaded and we're going to upgrade the software now. So the software is there and we'll come back once that's done. So once it's uploaded you just need to click the update button in the top right hand corner. This should take a few minutes. So after about five minutes the LT rocket has come back online and as you can see the GUI has completely changed. So there isn't a few new logos on here. Uh, Ubiquiti hasn't released a new software update for the LTE platform since February um, but we can because my device is actually factory set, we can set a now we can now set a username and password. So I'm gonna set UBNT and it's gonna suggest a password for me. It's gonna get rid of that. UBNT it's not gonna like that, is it? Choose my password. Yeah, it's gonna want a 12 character password, so that's not a problem. Create a account. And I imagine the GUI has changed not changed as much as I thought actually. Um, dashboard is pretty similar. It's that login screen and some of these details up here which are, are quite different. So so now the L2 rocket is in access point mode. I don't think the L2 rocket can become a station though. So with the L2 with the L2 devices only certain devices can be certain things. So the L2 rocket looks like it can only be an access point. If you want a connectorized station you have to look at the Air Fiber 5X HD because that can become a LTU uh, station. So on the dashboard you've got the device model, all the little stats about the device, uh, date sync, that will come from the internet, uh, data, uh, data port speed, GPS, so in the box there was a GPS receiver, so you can actually put that in for GPS sync, if you click on more details, pretty similar to Air Max down here. If we go to wireless, so you've got the mode for the device, which is access point only, you've got link name, you can set the downlink uplink ratio so you can pr you can prefer more frames to be prioritized for download also the frame length as well a nice feature of uh, LTU is a split frequency um, so you can stick on automatic frequency and you can have a specific channel or specific frequency for uplink and downlink um, chains which is pretty good this performance boost it looks a bit interesting so when active games up to 30% performance boost for networks up to 101 APs uh, station sorry not entirely sure what this does that's the bit um, sort of a bit hidden what it's actually doing uh, got GPS sync as well here max modulation 12 axes disabled um, yeah you got quite a few settings in there and then the network mode is just bridge so you can't put this in router mode again only the stations can be can be used for that like the other Air Fiber 5X HD and the 5X, you've got two ports. You've got a management port you can use. Um, so the data port is for your management, but you can you can set a, a management VLAN ID, and you can use that on the, on the management port, which is pretty good. If we come down to services, we've got Ping Watchdog, pretty similar stuff to, again, to Air Max. You can turn on and off the discovery. You've got logging you can set to a remote a server, SNMP, a system, firmware version, a lot of different settings here about regulatory information, which is pretty good. Um, got locate, which will make it flash, system log, upgrade software, privacy policy, uh, device name, can turn on NTP client, and you've got a log of what's wrong with the device. It'll tell you what to do, so it's pretty pretty good. And there's some tools. You've got AirView, Align Antenna, Cable Test, 
Uh, so we could we could run a cable test to my PC, but there's probably no point. Uh, Constellation speed test. Um, yeah, some pretty pretty uh, universal settings in here. And you can also add the device to UISP. So that's coming in a separate separate video on how to add LT Rocket to UISP. So that's been a very quick look at the LT Rocket, upgrading the software to the latest version from the very first version, run through of all the settings and how to get a device up and running. If you need any more information about Ubiquiti products and specifically the LTU devices, there are more videos coming soon on this platform. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. You can find us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. And you can contact our support team at support at hostify.com for any help and queries about your booktube products and TP-Link Amada. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you're the first to know about any new videos that we release. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>